So if we are given this problem to find the antiderivative or, uh, of 1 over 4x minus 1, now it would be great if we could just uh, put an exponent on that, move it to the numerator, and just use our power rule. But if we do that, that would have a negative 1 exponent. Integration we add that would give us an exponent of zero, that's not going to work out for us, okay? So, um, we've got to use some u substitution here. Okay, let our denominator, that 4x minus 1, be our u. du over dx is equal to 4. We don't have a 4 floating around in our problem other than in our u, so we need to move that. 1 fourth du is equal to dx. So let's go in here and let's replace some stuff. The 1 fourth is going to go in front. The integral of 1 over 4x minus 1 was our u. Now, 1 over u, what gives us a derivative of 1 over u? The natural log. Okay, the natural log. So this is going to be one-fourth natural log. Now, we need to put some absolute value symbols here because you cannot take the natural log of anything less zero or less. Okay? So sometimes when we plug this back in, when we plug our u back in, 4x minus 1 can be uh, equal to zero or less than zero. So we need to put absolute value bars around that. Mm -hmm. There's the absolute value of sine of 3x. Yes. What about it? We were taking the derivative of it. No, it was derivatives. The quiz was derivatives. All of it was derivatives. Today? Oh, you're talking about the absolute value problem today. Yes. No. Let's not do that. We don't want to pop in a log there. We're not really popping in a log right here. It's the fact that it's the derivative of the natural log is 1 over u. Okay. Oh, this is all in the recording, too. <laughs> I think we all need more sleep. <laughs> That's the answer. No, that is it. Let me work it out. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it may ask you to find a particular solution, yeah. We're not going there yet. Okay, let's look at another one. The integral of 3x squared plus 1 over x cubed plus x. 3x squared plus 1 over x cubed plus x. So at first glance, pretty obvious that this should be u substitution, right? Because it's a quotient. We can't do anything to simplify it algebraically. Uh, what should our u be? x cubed plus x, the bottom, because... The derivative of that is the numerator. That's convenient. So that means that we can go over here to our integral and our numerator goes away. It gets replaced by du and the denominator is u, so it's just one over u. And the antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural log of u. Put the absolute value around it. And then just plug in your u. 
the natural log of x cubed plus x plus c. Now, there will be a few occasions where you may not see absolute value bars on your answer choices. And the only reason for that is that that function is never less than zero. So, for example, if our u here had been x squared plus 4, okay, x squared plus 4 is never negative and it's never equal to zero. So then in that case, you do not need the absolute value bars, okay? But these are going to be multiple choice questions. And they're not going to be free of fun questions. They won't have to split hairs over whether the absolute value of our bars are there or not. Either they're going to be or they're not going to be. Uh, they're not going to put this as an answer choice and then the exact same thing with just parentheses around. Okay, they're not going to do that to you. Um, but I just don't want you to be thrown off when there are absolute value bars in your answer and you're like, well, where the heck did the absolute value come from? Okay, you know that that can attack you. You cannot take the natural law of zero. Yes. I think it is. 